Hello and welcome to our webinar, Business Solutions for the Top Challenges for Packaging Manufacturers, presented by Design Group. My name is Peter Nitto, Solutions Specialist at Design Group, and I will be moderating today's webinar. I would like to introduce our presenters. Scott Cargill, Director of Design Group. Scott joined Design Group in December 2015 with a 22-year career in packaging industry. Scott has held leadership roles in operations, supply chain planning, product development, ERP implementations, and IT application development. Scott is currently focused on providing a broad range of enterprise technology solutions to design group manufacturing clients across a broad range of industries. Scott leverages design group's industries, in, I mean, design group industry experience and domain expertise to deliver motivated solutions that drive sustainable business outcomes for our clients. Ben Sager is our solution specialist. Ben has been with Design Group for four years and specializes in Infor Cloud Suite Industrial ERP. Located upstate New York, Ben has over 10 years of experience with being an end user of Infor Cloud Suite and a couple of different manufacturers. John Schuff, Solution Consultant Direct for Infor Configure Price Quote, Product Lifecycle Management, and Supply Chain Planning. John has 18 years of experience working in discrete manufacturing with extensive experience identifying, architecting, and delivering business solutions for numerous customers. John's current focus is leading solutions consulting team to help potential customers identify and understand the value of Infor solutions within their organizations and sales channels. John has previously worked in professional services and product management roles and is based in Columbus, Ohio. During this webinar, our presenters will introduce who Design Group is, who Infor is, and highlight key challenges in the packaging manufacturers industries and present Infor Cloud Suite industrial ERP solutions that can help packaging manufacturers address these challenges and automate the business processes. We will have a QA session at the end of our presentation. However, you can record your questions in the advance of this session by entering your questions in the QA text box located at the lower right hand corner of your screen. And now I would like to introduce you to Scott Cargill, who will kick off our discussion. Is to show you how Infor Cloud Suite solutions can help solve many of the top challenges you are all facing in today's packaging equipment industry. With Design Group's long history with packaging equipment integrations and vast experience working with manufacturers like yours, just like yourselves, we believe today's webinar will be of interest to all of you. Design Group offers engineering, IT consulting, and technical services. True to our heritage, Design Group is focused on manufacturing. Our 1,500 professionals worldwide bring extensive industry experience to every project. Our client list ranges from some of the best known industrial manufacturers, life sciences, food and beverage, high tech, and consumer product brands in the world, all the way to startups that have the next great product. As a manufacturer ourselves, we know what it takes to make world-class products. Design Group has approximately 45 offices in the US and India. Although our market focus is North America, we serve clients across the globe. With 1,500 professionals, with many of them working re from remotely at our client sites, it is critical that our people stay connected and know that they are part of a vibrant culture that cares and provides opportunities for all our professionals. Okay, let's get into the meat of this webinar. We're gonna focus on three key challenges faced by many packaging manufacturers. Many packaging equipment companies are challenged with shortening the timeline between product concept and launch. Your customers might be frustrated with the time it takes to get specifications and quotes. Meanwhile, your competitors are in the same race and you find yourself a distant second place. Also, this product development process through launch can be costly if not done efficiently. This is especially true when you're designing across multiple design centers and manufacturing across multiple sites. Once the product is launched and delivered to your customers, your ability to deliver top 
not serve is as critical to maintain your reputation in the market and be awarded with repeat business. Your ability to manage much of this remotely while keeping warranty to a minimum, while growing your aftermarket business, all these things is a huge challenge in today's environment. We believe that N4 Cloud Suite portfolio of enterprise solutions will help you face these challenges head on and set you apart from your competition. As you know, there are a lot of ERP systems on the market today. Design Group recommends N4 Cloud Suite Industrial. Why N4 Cloud Suite Industrial? Well, N4 is the third largest software provider in the world. N4 has committed itself to developing and providing applications and strategic technology to manufacturers like yourselves all over the world. N4 solutions are built for specific industries, allowing N4 customers to take advantage of features and technologies to support your growth. N4 has invested two and a half billion in Cloud Suite products, and they continue to invest heavily with over 475 new products and over 20,000 new features. But don't just take our word for it. Gartner's Magic Quadrant ranks N4 Cloud Suite Industrial as one of the best ERP systems in the market today. And Cloud Suite Industrial just keeps getting better. In today's manufacturing environment, business processes are designed to flow seamlessly. They need to share information quickly and accurately. There's a lot of talk in the market today about digital transformation where companies are looking for ways to leverage the already sizable investments made in information and automation solutions. At Design Group, we talk about the digital thread. We think, we think of as the automated connection of your people, processes and software solutions to deliver a superior customer experience. You may want to think of Cloud Suite Industrial as an automated quote to cash and customer service business system that enables business units and manufacturing sites to connect through one application, one single source of truth. For over 5,000 companies, Cloud Suite Industrial is the backbone of the digital thread for service technicians and customer support. They have 24 by seven access to accurate product information, such as drawings and manuals. Again, one firm, one application, one digital thread. So we could spend hours talking about the ways that Cloud Suite Industrial helps bring together the resources of an organization to deliver that great customer experience. But each company has its own challenges. While an N4 Cloud Suite ERP can bring positive change to much of your organization, today during this webinar, we want to focus in on two areas that can simplify the packaging manufacturer's business processes and bring solutions to the top challenges we mentioned earlier. The two areas that we're going to focus on today are configure price quote, otherwise known as CPQ, and service management. N4 CPQ can create a detailed proposal in minutes with advanced pricing by features and much more. Here are several benefits of a robust CPQ solution, which all of them having a different impact to your company's ability to improve product time to market and be a leader in the industry you serve. Okay, enough talk. Let's give you a glimpse as to how it works. Great, thanks, Scott. I think at this point, I'll take over and share my screen. All right. So, Scott, I assume you can see my screen okay? Yes, sir. You're good. All right, great. So, we're going to go through a quick configure price quote process here. And I've just uh, already logged in as a sales executive. So, as a sales executive, I want to be able to really quickly create a quote. But one of the things that really helps me get my work done is really to better understand kind of where things are at within the business that I'm managing. I can have quick access to some you know key performance indicators here with some of my analytics. I have some messages that I'm able to interact with my colleagues. I can also see some workflows. Maybe I have some special price requests or some configuration requests. So lots of different things that I can take advantage of in terms of how I really understand what I need to do to focus on my work for the day. But in terms of really starting the quoting process, it's pretty simple. I have a list of menu items here that gives me quick access to the various capabilities in the configure price quote. I'm most interested now, of course, in creating a new quote. 
So as I select that link here, what it does is it puts me right into a new quote page. And here I can really quickly find my customer. So as I look to find my customer, I can just simply start to type. And I know I'm looking for Grandview Industrial. So I just type Grand and, and there it is, Grandview Industrial. As I select the customer, and we'll see that it can bring back some default information, such as my contact. I could also have some other header details. We'll cover that a little bit later. But really the next step in creating a quote is to just quickly add some items. So the first thing that we'll do here in terms of adding an item is I'll make a search for a, a flexographic and printer. So let's just go ahead and I'll type flexo, similar to when I was selecting the customer. Again, very easy to search my catalog. And you can see here I have two returned. One is a configuration I've done previously and saved if I choose to reuse that, but we'll actually start from scratch. So here, as I choose this selection, I have some, you know, just some key configuration attributes that are gonna help me do, a, say, a quick budgetary estimate on this um, piece of equipment. So I'll go ahead and select the base machine. I think we'll do the, it's a 52 inch wide fusion that I'm interested in, so we'll make that selection. I can choose the specific type of unwinder that I need for this equipment, so we'll do the 40 inch shafted. And then the wash up system, we'll look at the um, Vortex ink system as well as uh, water based things. We'll say yep. And then we'll go ahead and do the field viscosity control and we'll choose the standard repeater and the AVT jun uh, Juniper video inspection. And again, we'll do a 40 inch uh, rewinder here on this. And what I do now is add the item. So I just made a few quick specifications related to the piece of equipment that I'm configuring. And then over here on the right, that's going to validate those selections. It's going to look for any potential incompatibilities, although those also would have been caught here as I was making the selections. And then it will ultimately generate a price as configured. So I can look at that in more detail. Uh, I could certainly recon or I could configure another one if I want, but actually I wanna just jump back to the quote and see here that I configured that 52 inch wide fusion machine just over $2 million, I can get a little more detail related to that. So as I expand this summary view, I can see some of those key attributes that I selected, as well as an image related to the configuration that I just completed. So that was a nice quick way to be able to uh, just do a quick budgetary estimate on, you know, just some standard selections on the in printer. Say I wanna choose a different machine. So rather than add items, maybe I need a little bit of help in terms of the catalog. So we have a, a full catalog capability can certainly type in, start, type, uh, start to type in the equipment ID if I, if I knew that, or I could browse through my different categories. Maybe I'm looking for equipment here. And as I get into the equipment category, I could also have some subcategories within the broader category, as well as different attributes to help me filter down that list. But I can also then start to search as well, just as I did before. So in this case, I wanna, I wanna look for this laser cleaner here. We'll go ahead and make that selection. And we can see I have a similar capability uh, related to be able to do a quick selection or say a budgetary type of an estimate. But what I thought I'd do next is really just go into a little bit more of a, a configuration process because I don't really know exactly which piece of equipment that I want in terms of the model. So here I have an option to select by model or roll specs. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my roll specs just to really help, help the system let me know what would fit those specifications. So we'll do the, the roll length is 50 with the diameter of the roll is three and then, uh, you know, thinking it's about a 500 in terms of the weight of the roll. So based on those specifications related to the roll is it's suggested that I have these four different models available to me. Uh, as I was looking at that though, I realized that I had misinput the information for the roll length. And so it was actually, the roll length was, was going to be a hundred. So as I put in a hundred and I go ahead and I exit the field, we're gonna see that the models are going to be to adjust. So now based on the input of the specification, it says really based on these specs, you can only have these two models available versus previously when the roll length was 50, I had the four. So again, we'll and go ahead and make that selection of the 3000. We'll say we need the turbo and certification for UL and a supply voltage of 220. I could use a couple of additional uh, options here, spare filter, maybe I want an extended warranty. And then as I would like to, I can come over here and do some of the detail in terms of the price buildup. So again, this is an optional setup to be able to see the detail related to how my pricing is changing based upon my specification. This looks good. This is what I was looking for. So we'll just go ahead and, and finish that up. Again, leaves me right where I started. So if I needed to do another specification for the same piece of equipment, I could do that. Or I can come back here and I can take a quick look at that quote again. And as we look at the quote, here's the line item one that we started out originally with the budgetary quote. You can collapse that down and maybe look here at the detail related to the uh, analog cleaner that I just configured. Now we'll go ahead and do one more th thing here on our quote is that we actually do 
want another flexo, a flexo and printer, but rather than start from selecting out of the catalog or through my item list, uh, knowing that I need something similar, I don't want to start from scratch. So we'll just go ahead and we'll copy that. So what we did now is we just created line three. I'll collapse that down. So here's my line three, exact copy of line one. But in this case, we'll just come in here and we're going to change the options. So as we change the options on this, what it does, of course, is it reloads the exact type of configuration that I had on line one. It's an exact copy. Um, here I can see that I have some messages related to some of the selections that I've made here at the top. But then I can also, I, I need to change to a Fusion Max. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do a 66 inch Fusion Max. And based upon that selection that I made, it now says, hey, you have different unwinder options. And I can also see that I have the image related to the equipment is changing as well. We'll go ahead and choose the 40 inch Fusion Max here in terms of the unwinder. And then it's taking me right here to the end because everything else is validated. I can do a quick view of the summary information. So I can scroll down through this list of everything that I've selected. Here in the my wash up system, I actually want to make a change there. As I make that selection, it moves me right back over here uh, to that ink wash up system where I can go ahead and say, actually, in this case, no wash up system is needed. In that case, it clears the message, revalidates everything that I've done. It's all still valid. I could continue to double check any of the specifications I've made so far. Or in this case, it's given me an opportunity if I choose to, based upon the way we've set up this model, to allow me to do some price overrides. So here I can say, yep, I'd like to make some adjustments. I can either adjust by a price or by the margin. Let's just say we'll go ahead and adjust it by price. And, and currently as configured, it's just over two and a half million, right? $2.6 million. I can see my cost was just over 1.7 million. But you know, in order to capture this view, I might need to do a, a small discount here. So we'll do 2 million. $600,000, and we can see that my margin now is adjusted down to just under 34% uh, percent margin. So I wanna go ahead and keep that for my pricing. It's asking if we'd like to add some service plans. And so we'll go ahead and actually choose the Advantage service plan on a 12 month term. And by adding those, you can see that then of course is added to my overall price for the equipment where I was at the equipment was 2.6 million added on a service plan for a 12 month term that of course then added some, some uh, additional pricing to this overall specification. So as I finish this up here, we can see I have these three different pieces of equipment. Uh, two of the similar, but yet different in, in the case of the specification. As I look at this Fusion uh, Max at 66, at 66 inches, you see I have those key attributes here, a different image associated with what was configured versus what we had here, which was just the, the regular wide Fusion machine. So looking at my quote here, I'm pretty happy with everything that I've specified here so far. I'm ready to get this out to the customer. So we'll go ahead and we'll generate our quote document. So here, this gives me an opportunity really to configure my document. I can determine how I wanna show pricing. Maybe I, I, maybe I don't wanna show pricing at all. I'll go ahead and we'll keep this as a selling price, but I have that, that option to determine how I show pricing. If I wanna show detail information related to the specification, I can also, generate an output document in a different culture, which accounts for language translations, date and time and numeric formatting, as well as currency exchange rates. I can choose if I wanna show even comments here on, on this document as well. We'll go ahead and we'll take a preview of that just to see what that output document looks like as it is generated based upon the specifications I made for each of the line items on that quote. And what we see here is a PDF document which we could also generate a, a Word document if that was desirable. In this case, I have a, a cover letter that's uh, to the contact I had selected on the quote. Then we can see I have a little bit of a cover page here that lets me know who I'm shipping it to, what some of the terms are related to payment and shipping. Then I have the individual line item information. So I see the images as well as those key attributes for each of the pieces of equipment that I selected and configured. And then ultimately we have an overall price associated with this customer, which is inclusive of a standard 10% discount that we tied to that customer. And as we scroll down a little farther, we can also include terms and conditions just to uh, clarify what those responsibilities are in, in terms of this quote. So we'll go ahead and just close that here. And then I, I wanna go ahead and save that to my quote so that I can actually then email that to my customer. So as I save that and then come here, I can quickly email the customer. And in this case, based upon the contact I selected, their email address is already uh, specified there, I could add additional. I've also specified the language from based on the quote setup. I have a default for the subjects. So I don't have to retype that, as well as a default template for the body of the email as well. So I don't, I don't need to worry about retyping that information. I can certainly change it if I choose to. But then here, 
I can choose which attachment, right, which quote document. I may have generated multiple versions of that output document, say one with pricing, one without. Here I can just go ahead and make the selection of the one that I want. And then all that I need to do is simply click send. And so now I've been able to, in a matter of minutes, be able to provide a quote to my customer for three uniquely configured machines that are configured specific to the business rules related to pricing, manufacturing, et cetera, that allow me to have the confidence that what I'm providing to my customer is something that is in alignment with how we want to price and also is something that we can build from a manufacturing perspective. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Scott. Wow, thanks, John. That was a great demo of M4 CPQ. It, it truly is an application that can bring step change to your organization. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's transition to service management, import service management. So the import service management solution provides you the flexibility your organization needs to provide and strengthen customer service with a complete service application. Just to name a few features, call tracking, warranty tracking, specific customer maintenance contracts, graphical dispatch, and, and there's much more. The implementation of a service management focused software brings tremendous value to your business. And most importantly, it enhances your customer's experience. We talked about that earlier. The benefits listed here will certainly have a positive impact on your business and your reputation in the market. We understand the value you get from your aftermarket and service business. In many cases, this value greatly exceeds the value you get from new equipment sales. If aftermarket and service is so important to your business, you should have the technology to support and provide a platform for sustainability and long-term growth. Let's look at an example of how this works in a real life scenario. Service technicians need a way to easily access information while on site at your customer through a mobile device. They need real time information and the ability to service, provide the service, order parts, and close out service requests in a timely manner. This way, they're not spending hours wasted on the phone and flipping through mountains of paperwork. They can stay focused on providing quality work and get the goal of exceed and with the goal of exceeding the customer's expectations and leaving the customer with a positive experience. Like we did with CPQ, let's dive into a real life tour of Infor's service management solution. Thank you, Scott. Hello, everyone. My name is Ben Sanger, and I'm a solutions consultant. Today, I'll be showing you the field service application and ways in which it can help both you and your customer. This system can be run standalone or integrated with an ERP solution. Specifically, the environment you'll see today is field service embedded in Enforce Cloud Suite Industrial ERP products. Field service has a comprehensive array of powerful functionality, many of which I'm showing you here on the screen. I'm going to highlight a few that can give your company a leg up and turn this department into a true revenue stream. This system provides tools to manage and track partners effectively and efficiently, whether they are internal employees or external service vendors. Unit maintenance empowers your users to see the entire history and configuration of equipment. Service contracts and quoting enables the business to track service and warranty opportunities and orders. These tools manage all work, costs, and billing associated with the repair and maintenance of a product. Call center and incident tracking provide tools for customer service reps to track all issues with equipment and customers. Along with the knowledge database, these frontline partners are empowered to get equipment back on track when there are minor or known issues. Call dispatching and partner schedule dispatch help supervisors get the right people out in the field and track their movement and work. As you can see, field service has a wealth of additional functionality as well. Everything here starts with the units form. This powerful tool allows the company to track the entire history of equipment they are manufacturing and or servicing. These records are automatically created from the work your partners are already doing. Job orders will define the creation and initial configuration of your equipment. Customer orders will feed in ownership and location data. 
and the call center and service orders will feed to this form as post-sales activities take place. Data about the unit is organized in tabs across this form. On the maintenance tab, we can create a schedule of work and preventative maintenance activities that are associated with this unit. On the service history tab, we maintain a record of all work that has been performed on this unit. And on the incidents tab, we can see all the records from the call center regarding this unit. The integration of field service into your business means less data maintenance for your employees. Let's dive a little deeper into unit configuration. For every unit, the system maintains a unit configuration. This form is also built automatically from transactions that occur during your typical business processes. Gone is the tedious work of maintaining spreadsheets for each piece of equipment. For instance, when the forklift in this example was manufactured, the materials that were used were recorded here as part of the initial configuration. As service orders are transacted, the components that have been removed and replaced are also recorded as the work is done, as shown here. Additional information is also available here, such as warranties and inspections. At all times, the makeup and history of any unit will be at the user's fingertips, allowing for quicker decisions. Trends and patterns can be seen and lead to proactive measures, such as predictive maintenance, leading to less downtime for you and your customers. CloudSuite Industrial also provides workbenches that can be personalized for users and roles and comes with a suite of standards right out of the box. This form serves as an overview page for the service department and displays KPIs, leading and critical information, as well as easy access to supervisor level functions. As seen here, the service manager has at their fingertips all the information they need to run their department, allowing them to focus on value driven activities and waste less time chasing information. This next form I'm showing you is the incident queue console. From here, I have access to any and all tools and information I may need while on the phone with the customer. This form serves as a home base for all current incidents being tracked. From here, users can create new incidences while on the phone with customers. With live tracking of all current issues and now having a database of all information related to past issues, we can better serve our customers. This information can also help you build a database of answers to common problems and questions. Rapid solutions can be provided right over the phone using our knowledge-based search. This allows your partners to help customers get their equipment back in operation as quickly as possible. Easy solutions such as have they tried turning it off and on again will be displayed as they search for the incident involved. In today's environment, this is even more important as we look to limit our partners' exposures and efficiently use their time. Returning here to the incident console, if we are unable to solve problems right over the phone, our users can quickly dispatch service personnel right from this form. Field service will automatically find the partners with the requisite skill sets and select the earliest available partner. This will allow us to get help to the customer as soon as possible. Again, on the incident queue console form, if a more structured appointment is required or your partner needs a bigger picture view of everyone's schedule, we can access the calendar from this form as well. Using the calendar, partners can be scheduled to go out and perform work. The system provides a selection tool that makes it as easy as possible to get the right person out on the job. Here we can use a variety of filters to ensure the partner with the correct certifications, skills, or maybe just in the right territory are selected. The calendar also provides easy drag and drop functionality for rescheduling of appointments, as well as drag and drop from the to be scheduled section 
up into the calendar. If any changes are made to the schedule or new appointments created, these updates will be immediately sent out to your partners out in the road so that they have immediate and up-to-date access to their appointment details and information. We also have a mapping functionality such that dispatchers can help coordinate your partners on the road and help them get to all their appointments in as efficient manner as possible. Speaking of partners out on the road, I'd like to show you the service mobile app. This app can be run on any device, both Android and Apple, and can be run in both online and offline modes. This means that there is no longer concern with not having a Wi-Fi or cell signal available, and instead they can merely sync their activities with the office when they're able to reconnect. By providing all of the information right at their fingertips, partners no longer have to spend evenings transcribing handwritten notes and paperwork into a central system late at night. It also means less calls back to the office, less waiting on parts, and less frustration out in the field. We even have the ability, while on the customer site, to show them their invoice to collect their signature and even process credit card payments. I appreciate your attention today as I've given you a quick look at all field service has to offer. But really, why should it matter to you? This system provides an intuitive and easy to use integrated system. This means less paperwork, less data entry, and easier access to all the information your partners need. Field service is a comprehensive system with the flexibility to build and adapt to those business processes that make your company special. Our system provides a complete unit history in an easily accessible format. Your employees are empowered to make quick and accurate decisions moving beyond just those knee-jerk reactions and tribal knowledge. With rising labor costs and the new COVID environment, we provide the tools to effectively leverage your partners out in the field, making sure they have the tools and information required to quickly meet your customers' needs. I thank you for your time, and I hope, to see the, hope you see the value we do in this product. If you'd like to see more of this system, please reach out to us, and we would be happy to conduct a more thorough demonstration for you. And with that, I am now going to turn it back over to Peter. Thank you, Ben. That was great. Out-of-the-box capabilities of the Infor Industrial can clearly bring tremendous value to an organization. Before we open up for questions, I'd like to take a moment to thank all the people at Design Group and Infor for pulling this all together behind the scenes. If not for their efforts, this webinar would not be a success and would not be possible. So I thank you. I also want to thank the design marketing team, Ann Stotler, Lena Dreyer for all the support throughout the planning and webinar. Right now, I'd like to see that there have been a few questions that have been brought up. And the first is, um, is there a program required to develop the rules for the configurator? John, would you address that? Yeah, certainly, I'd be happy to address that. So uh, certainly the configurator requires the input of, of, I'll call it just generally business logic, whether that business logic is related to the sales options and features that is relevant for pieces of equipment or for any given sales opportunity, pricing or manufacturing. Uh, yeah, most certainly there's a design element to creating the configuration model that's comprised of both rules logic, simple you know decision criteria that determine what sort of information should be displayed and when, and then there's also data, right? Data sets, whether that's pricing data, option data, um, manufacturing related type of data, lots of different ways in which we can create and manage the data. But those are the two basic elements to a configuration model. It'd be the business rules and the data that supports it. And it is a visual drag and drop type of a user interface. So it's not a syntax based programming language. It's something that would be more like a, a Visio. You know, as far as a Visio flowchart, you being able to drag a rule type that has specific capability into uh, essentially kind of a flowchart, if you will, 
and then you would define the specific attributes that really determine how you want that rule to behave. So now very easy to learn. It's something that we can train our customers on doing, usually getting them from a, a zero exposure to becoming really self-sufficient in a matter of weeks. Uh, so it, it doesn't take a lot of time to be able to become very proficient at learning our solution. And ultimately, all of our n CPQ customers are 100% self-sufficient on our design tool. They're able to really create and manage all of their content and all their business rules on their own. Great, that's a great question. And there's another question. Uh, does the service mobile run on any device, Ben? Thanks, Pierre. Uh, yeah, so it, the system, uh, the, the mobile app is widely available. Um, you can run it on, on really nearly any device. Uh, it's easily accessible from both the Apple and Google Play uh, web stores as well as uh, many others. So, you know, really any uh, tablets, any phone, you're gonna be able to run this software on. Okay, uh, another question is, can I run these applications separate and not link to any ERP system? Um, ben, I guess you can address that as well. Sure, uh, so certainly a uh, field service can be run either standalone, uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, it can certainly be run as part of the Infor ecosystem. Uh, it can certainly be tied in with other products from uh, other companies as well. Okay, then there's one last question, um, and I believe the other one addressed that, but can um, I integrate this application to my existing CRM or other ERP business system? I guess he's talking more about the configurator. John. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll address that. And I'll say in the previous answer that the same was true for the configure price quote as it relates to being able to be deployed standalone, not integrated it with an ERP or CRM solution. But uh, most certainly we have the capability to, and we have standard integration with many of the N4 ERP solutions as you would expect, as well as N4 CRM. But we also have standard integration with some non N4 ERP solutions like Oracle EBS and Dynamics uh, uh, AX, Dynamics AX, as well as Salesforce CRM and Dynamics CRM as well. So you have a lot of different deployment options as it relates to how you would choose to deploy with your various business systems. Uh, certainly you've been capable to be integrated into other business applications that may not be from other vendors, some homegrown business applications that many customers that do that, in addition to even embedding configuration capabilities into your own customer or into your own website. So a lot of options there. Okay, thank you. Uh, this concludes today's webinar, Design Group for the Patching Manufacturers. I'd like to please ask you to visit the Design Group Solution landing page to learn more about our offerings. This session was recorded and will be emailed to all the rec all the registrants. It will also be posted on Design Group online channel. I'd like to thank our presenters for making this an informative webinar, and thanks to our audience for participating in today's session. We hope you found today's event valuable and that you will return to future Design Group hosted webinars. Thank you very much and have a great day.